so this is Kieran and I am back with Minecraft um so um yesterday I put out a video and I kind of feel stupid for this cuz I seriously it shows a little bit of the reason why I'm doing some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in a minute um it has no sound in it mm, and I I feel kind of stupid about that cuz I didn't notice that until today so I put something in the description, and it sounds really loud for some reason. So I'm going to turn down the sound for a little bit. But <laughs> it was a video of me going around on the Block Empire server, which is really, really cool. You guys really should check it out. Um, stand to me, I really hadn't actually seen that much of the server. I spent quite a bit of time in that video just wandering around. Um, there's a lot of things that you can understand without the sound. You really didn't need the commentation, but, um, since it, it actually didn't record any of my voice commentation stuff, um, because I just have Fraps Auto do that, so I don't have to worry about lining it up, and I turned off, because I was on the server, I turned off my auto switch, um, but, so that's what that video was entirely about me just kind of wandering around the server talking about things that had gone on and things that I'd been involved with um and the other important thing really important thing that really matters more than really any of the other stuff is the fact that I am moving down to one minecraft video a day officially um the reason this is is because of what happened this past weekend uh, if you're watching this in advance, you wouldn't, ha you could figure it out by looking at the timestamps of all the videos. But I s basically skipped a week and then had basically nothing come out. I had a couple stuff come out on Friday, but I, I there was nothing else through the rest of the week and weekend. Yeah, the weekend. Um, and I don't want to have to do that again, so I'm going to be pre-recording some videos. Um, which will be, uh, probably just speed builds on the other part of the server, and I saw a creeper over here, and it's bugging me now. Uh, where'd he go? Ouch. That hurt. Mm. So, I'm going to try and avoid that by making it so I'm not actually going to do one a day so I can commit to this. Um, so, if you guys see a lack of videos, that's why, um, for a little bit. And that'll probably keep up for quite some time until I can actually find a time in my schedule to consistently put out videos. Also, um, I know people, not everyone who watches this watches Morrowind, and not everyone who watches Morrowind watches this, but Morrowind is coming out later this week. Um, the reason is, is I seriously didn't have time to record it earlier this weekend, and I didn't have time yesterday, which is why it was kind of a little bit of harebrained yesterday, and we don't want that, that color wood. We're going to kind of open this up a little bit more just because it feels kind of cramped, this passageway. Yeah. Um, so, that is the plan. So, if you guys got any comments about this um, the big real reason why I decided to do this is the fact that videos take a while to deal with and I at this moment in time do not have that time consistently and I know there are weekends coming up that I won't so um, there will probably I, I promise tomorrow I will get Morrowind out. Um, today it's not going to happen because I've got some other things that I need to do. And yesterday I ended up doing some other things um, because I actually wasn't... The reason the video kind of was... It wasn't really out late, but it was out later than I usually get them out. Um, at least I think it was. If it wasn't, well... It felt like later, um, but I spent the time before the video um, updating the server a little bit, um, which it won't be something that will affect anyone, and it's not something that's going to affect this world here, 
but I did add Townie. Um, I, and I did talk about it even though the commentation is no longer there. Um, that is one of the things that Black Empires uses. It is not the first place I heard of Townie. I've used Townie before. And the reason I'm going to be using it in this server is more in the creative zone to turn off, like, in certain areas if I don't want fire spread on or something, I can turn it off on my own. And I can also turn off explosions in those builds and things like that so people can't just, you know, Ooh, explosions, TNT! And it'll eventually, um, if this once, not if, once this server goes up, it will be something that everyone will be able to access. Um, I don't want that there. Wasting good glass. But, and basically what it will allow you to do is protect your builds from other people. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work it so you can actually, there should be a way, it seems like there at least should be a way for me to have multiple cities under one person. Um, I'll try and figure out if that's possible, uh, and see if it's not possible how to make it possible, because even though it'll be fairly interesting, and there's a creeper, hey creeper, um, so that was part of the reason my schedule yesterday was a little bit off, was getting everything ready for that, because Townie is quite a big plug in it, it it does take a little bit more server resources um and I wasn't sure whether it would cause any lag on the server so I was testing and I was actually taking in that actual first city that I showed you guys um where all everyone will spawn in and stuff I put that all in a townie in, in an actual town for townie and protected that all and I wanted to see if it would work right, so, and it does, so, I will actually probably have a, well, it probably won't be a video that will be out with this one, it's going to be out eventually, where I'll be running around and you'll probably see um, it go to wilderness or something, um, so I was out over in the other world for quite a bit, um, flying around in creative mode trying to get all that done, ooh, it was so frustrating. And I am out of wood. I need more wood. Ouch. There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay. So I'm gonna get this door open. And... Stupid tree! Okay. So, I'm actually going to take out some of these trees. Probably not all of them, just because that's a lot to deal with right now, and I don't need that much wood. But I'll probably take out the stupid tree. Hey, look, it's the stupid tree. Okay, so, um, yeah, and if you're wondering exactly as to all the reasons of, because it's not just that I'm cutting this down just because I don't think I'll have time and to record some, pre-record some videos. Also, it's a little bit because I'm also going to be looking at doing something other than just the Minecraft and the Morrowind, which really does take up majority of my time and then I do the little bit on the weekend of just playing a random game but I kind of want to play you know have a day where I can play a little bit of zombies and put it up and things like that I'm not exactly sure when this will all if any of this will all go down or not it's a plan to get some more stuff going um my schedule right now is very tentative and with it's going to be the change of semester soon because my um, college class ends here soon so I'm going to be picking up a different one and that's going to change my schedule a little bit. Um, and for those who don't know, actually I don't think I've ever mentioned this, 
because it's never been 100% important um, for everyone to know. Um, I am not a college student. I am and I'm not. It's one of those weird things. Um, I'm a dual enrollment student, so I take college classes after my normal classes of high school. So I am a high school student. Don't think I'm like 17 in college. No. But did actually get accepted to college. Literally, um, just the other, just today actually. So, um, that's a good thing. Good, good, good thing. So, I'm a little bit of everywhere right now. I know that probably is how it's obvious that I'm, my brain's a little bit of everywhere. And that's partially another reason is I do need to get stuff ready for college, which even though you guys, you guys are very important and I, I like making these videos and everything, the college stuff is right at this moment more important because videos at this point don't make money for me. I'm not sure if that will change or not, but at this moment in time, that is how it is, and so I need some way to get some money. And hopefully, college and stuffs will get me a good job that I want, which, um, if you're curious at all, um, I am going to be going into computer science, and I'll be going into game design, specifically, um, which saying game design really is very 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 bad way to put it because I'm not actually going to be designing games it is going to be game programming I think the minor was game design it may actually be game programming I don't remember I it was a minor um, program that the college that I'm going to has um, which I know most of the time getting a minor in getting anything that says game design on it most colleges, most people don't look at very well. And if you think they do put, look at it very well, unless it's a game job, they don't look at it very well. And some game jobs won't even look at it all that highly because if you have a higher degree, you generally more. Because it, it's one of those strange things. Yes, you, you were, if you are, you know, a actual you know, game programmer, yeah, yeah, in some senses you're more valuable, but in other senses you aren't, because, um, if you're a game programmer and you get stuck, you know, using specifically the Unreal Engine, and you did all your programming in C++ DirectX, and most of the time, colleges that are specific, you know, you're getting a game design degree, they don't teach you how to interface well with other system. Not saying all of them are. Um, actually, the one college that I've heard is good, but I wanted an option to be able to, if I wanted to, to not just get a job in the game, the game area. Um, DigiPen, if you've ever heard of it, that is supposed to be a really good school and actually will get you a job. It is not an if. It is if you walk out of there you're you're getting a job pretty much um i'm not sure how true that is but that is what i've heard so if you're looking to go into games um digipen's a good place to go um generally schools that just say you know tech aren't good places to go for any technological school it's not 100% um, true. If it's a state college, like, you know, I don't know, I, I can't actually throw out a college, um, Michigan Tech, which is actually in the UP, um, the Upper Peninsula, if, which shows that I've actually, I don't know if m many other people who have never lived in Michigan called that the UP, um, which I don't actually live in the UP, right, anymore, actually in Michigan, I've never lived in the UP, I don't live in Michigan anymore, 
um, as upsetting as it is, I had to move with my dad's job. And if you've actually listened to some of the older podcasts you've d- that we've done, and so you've followed me and Roken for a while, you would have known there was a time where I was moving, and so all my stuff was gone. Nothing's important anymore, because I'm trying to move. But, um, so... <laughs> So, I don't know where I was going with the college talk, because I don't really want to say that any college is bad to go to. But, also, the only other reason that I didn't specifically go to, like, DigiPen is also I'm looking into doing um, dual major, and I'll be taking a uh, also a major in mechanical engineering, which may sound kind of strange. I don't know whether it sounds strange or whether it sounds awesome. To me, it sounds awesome because mechanical engineering is like working with, it's basically all engineering wrapped into one, except for architectural engineering, which I don't want to be an architect, which is strange considering of what I'm doing right now building a house. But I like doing stuff like robotics and things like that. Um, so that's the main reason why I'm going to the college that I plan on going to is because they are supposedly have, well they're not supposedly a good engineering school, they are a good engineering school, that's what they were founded for. Um, I think I get the glass in there. So, enough about my life. The house seems to be progressing along fairly nicely. <laughs> Change subject. I don't know if I'm going to have, like, a third floor to this house. Um, but so far, I really like, actually, how this house is coming along. I may add, like, other stairs in different parts of the houses. And the houses? The house is multiplied into houses. Um, which is another thing. Also, (laughs) real quick, for those of you that, um, are also curious, um, one of the other reasons, and I hadn't actually thought about this, but this was part of the deciding factor, um, I hadn't thought about it within this conversation, commentation thing. Um, I also did take off a little bit of the video making because I do actually want to start getting some work on on the video on CDF. If you don't know what CDF is, I'm going to give you a quick five m- minutes, maybe not even um, intro to what it is. CDF, if you do not know, is the video game project that I have been working on for the past oh, I want to say five years. It's been a while. So, yeah, the idea, you might think, five years, that would mean you're like 12 when you first set up this idea. Yes. And most people are probably like, well, then it's probably a horrible idea. When I first started, it was. The original idea was actually, basically, the original idea was a WoW clone with few added features. Um, but the game has so far jumped from that track, so, it, it, it went from that track a long time ago. I am going to eventually need to put a roof on this, but, um, we're actually kind of getting up to the time limit, so I'm going to finish off by talking about CDF real for a minute, and we're going to, there. Um, so CDF was a game where, um, basically, I was going to just add a couple more things, but it was going to be very World of warcraft because I like World of Warcraft, I just got to a point where I'd done everything. So I wanted a game that had a little bit more in it. And, well, due to several factors, um, one of them, me just playing around with the idea for way too long. Yeah, look at that. Um, I ended up completely changing how it functions as a game. Because eventually, um, partially, actually I don't know if this idea originally came from them, but 
some of my ideas if you don't know who extra credits is they're part of there are a vidcast that talk about video game design and things like that um you can find them on penny arcades patv um you can just search extra credits um i don't know the names of anyone that is actually part of it um allison theus I think is how you pronounce her name. I'm I'm sorry if Allison watches this and it's not the way you pronounce her name, but um and I can't think of any of the other names. I think it's Dan and um I can't think of the other one. But they they did help with some of the ideas because I I listened to their vidcast and watch it and they talk about a lot of things, but it came this actually, I think, came a little bit earlier than watching them. Um, I was trying to decide something to make my game a little bit more unique because, actually, that's when it did come about. Is I played a lot of MMOs and at after a little while, because I got to the point where World of Warcraft was getting kind of just expensive, and so they I ended up deciding, well, I want something that makes mine stand out completely. Because I'd seen the little bits of games, and eventually I got to the World of Warcraft style gameplay, just I've seen it. I've seen it, and no matter which way you you make it go, it's still World of Warcraft style gameplay. The little bits didn't add enough. So I wanted to make something that was completely different something that I could take and keep rolling. Um, so I ended up deciding to take the current... Actually, I didn't actually decide to take the current at first, but I did end up for reasons of other matters of... I, take, I took the current... Basically, the current control scheme that basically every game uses the WSAD with a skill tree. Stripped away the skill tree and I basically made my my own control system. It still uses the WSAD to um, move, and, uh, move and stuff, but that to me was part of why I did it. I've got to remember I did move that key. And if you're wondering what key I'm talking about, ah. Anyways, um, so the game basically stemmed off of a World of Warcraft clone that I had started designing as an MMO, and then this feature came into it. And then also another thing that bugged me is generally MMOs are fairly one of the things that actually this this I think came along a little bit before one of the things that bugged me about MMOs was the fact that once you played the starter quest you you'd played them you know you'd play them a hundred times because every time you make a new character you go through the exact same starter quest unless you may maybe if you play a different race some games had different things for the different races and it got kinda tedious after a while so I wanted something a little bit different, which is where I came up, and I've talked about this a bit in a lot of things. Um, what I call quest pack system, which takes and you take um, a whole bunch of quests and you put them into these quest packs, and these quests all go around and they're meant to happen all at the same time or near the same time. And as the quest pack depletes itself, eventually so there there are going to be times where there will be more quests and fewer quests it, it was just how the game was meant to work um and then it ended up you know that you'll get to these you get to a point where the quest pack will be depleted to a point where it starts it'll open up a new one keeping the old one still and then the the new quest pack will be used to give you more quests and then it'll push 
the old quests a little bit more and certain quests will not be available and certain quests will have to have been done now the interesting thing about this system though is the fact that the way it's designed is there will be quests that you've you know taken out and there'll be very specific quests that really won't be able to be done twice or maybe they just aren't needed to be done twice because that also bugged me of the fact that you know forever and ever the you know a stupid person would want you know I want these pelts you've s to make this one item and you've asked everyone who's come here forever and then you you can go to someone else hey I got that same quest oh I just finished that quest you know it, it, it really bugged me well, it's one of those things that probably shouldn't have bugged me as much as it did. Um, but uh, I've got all of the wood that I'm that I'm gonna need for right now. Um, so the quest packs was a way to get it at that, and certain quests once they're done, it's gonna be removed. No one can redo them. You can't you can't turn in the quest. Now there will be always the quests that you can do hundred million times this way that way with every character that you have or maybe you can only do it once per character but you know to give the for the people who want it that way to get it that way and then I also added in because I have I think I've talked about this so if I haven't talked about this I was going to talk about this um, a notoriety system which gives you it's basically like the Assassin's Creed notoriety system where you get so much need notorious points for doing things but it also gives consequence it's one of the things that I've heard that people do not like about um, MMOs is the fact that people just do crap you know the PvP the PKers and things like that and so I wanted a consequence system but still making an integral part of the game where it's actually something that people can try and play at because you you can get the these points but you know it's the balance between becoming notor completely notorious where you're known as by just about everyone and you're being hunted down by just about everyone or someone who slips under the radar or the people who literally will probably try to get famous and another half of this system is the bounty hunter system where you can actually get bounties for people for killing people and you go back to town and bring something with you. Um, so that was one of the things is if you're notorious and you you can make that into basically a game. And the thing is is um, there'll be the way that it'll work with PvP is people who die from normal from someone just running around and killing them it won't be anything and there will be area, and the, though world pvp will be on which i know a lot of people have told me they don't like the idea of but i explained it to them in this way it'll be on but you're going to have guards everywhere and you will be strong enough there there is no one who will ki kill you unless it's an assassin someone who as literally assassinates you there's going to be nigh on a, it's not going to be very easy because if you notice them coming up to try and kill you, um, you can run to a guard and tell them, and it'll work like that, and you won't lose anything unless you are either, if you die from another person and you are either a bounty hunter or you're a PvPer, and then you'll lose some money and a little bit of experience, and I'm not sure if I'll take experience yeah I'll probably take experience away from both parties and the reason is is you were looking for the trouble is the basic way to say it and so that's how that's gonna work but this has seriously gone over quite some time um so I'll probably talk about this tomorrow a little bit if I don't uh, I, I won't I don't know um but I'll see you guys next time and I'll finish up this house um so we've got some walls constructed upstairs and so yeah I'll see you guys then